All right, so this is the collective read for 2023. Overall general messages, what's coming in for you? Huh, I had to laugh because obviously goodbye to the old and hello to the new year, right? You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Let's get out a couple of more fairy messages to get more of a clear, you know, clear idea of what's going on. All right. Make sure you guys get some evil eye pendant, okay? Because stuff is going to get so good for you that there's going to be people really jealous around you, okay? They're going to be nice to your face and say that they love you and then they're going to talk shit behind your back and be mad jealous and hate behind closed doors. But that's okay because you're going to have that evil eye pendant, right? God knows we could use it. <clears throat> love life coming in for you. The basis of your question involves your romantic life. Which is now changing for the better. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, hold on. One more card here. Thank you. And look, career. Look at this, you guys. Spirit says some of y'all having both. Some of y'all having one. Some of you having the other. Okay. And then I'm going to put this out there. Business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or a career opportunity. Your work focus is shifting in a positive new successful direction. So can see these if you need to pause screenshot zoom in whatever okay whom do you need to forgive on the bottom of the deck as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true anything else here ah, that came out again whom do you need to forgive as you release old anger okay letting those people go cutting cords Forgiveness, forgiving ourselves, always a big thing. Also, you might want to look at my previous pick of cards too. Um, the the late longer, if they were pick of cards from like this time last year, they will definitely hit the nail on the head for you right now. Okay, opening up to new spiritual sources, maybe finding a guru, uh, going into a religion of some kind too. What is new for them in 2023 regarding the goodbye to the old card spirit? Can we get a clarity card for each card on the board? Okay. Sacral chakra. Second chakra. That's where our emotions come from. That's where our gut feelings come from as well. Okay. The sacral is right below the belly button. Uh, clearing those energies. Okay. We've got this in the beginning and the ending, right? So clearing those negative energies or those negative emotions involving resentment towards an old boss or old jobs or old partners or friends okay a new a whole new world blossoming abundance in the love life department blossoming abundance in material items as well blossoming abundance look community with new career you're going to meet some really good friends through your job okay you're gonna meet a lot of new people through a new job working on a team teamwork putting forth effort hello I thought somebody was at my door I have a house full of people they like to bother me and not knock okay clarity card here the sun will come out tomorrow can we get another clarity card okay no they said no no more cards okay so these cards there's just an abundance of career opportunities, an abundance of love for yourself, for others. Also with the children here, inner child healing, sacral chakra. I don't know why I pulled around to mention, but did you know the Bible talks about crystals and gems? Okay, just putting that out there. Forgiving several people in your life, in your past life. Maybe these people are from childhood. healer of the ages significant balance look there's Jesus what the heck Jesus Jesus main opening the door to personal healing and happiness the sun here it is I said the sun will come out tomorrow right there it is there it is patience is a virtue patience is needed at this time you're going to be tested a lot oh guys you're going to be tested so much you need to set intentions now that you're going to you're going to work on it, and you're going to be great at doing it, right? You're going to pass those tests with flying colors. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You're going to be tested in relationships and the caring connections around you as well. False people, you're going to 
start seeing the truth around people and noticing that their deeper darker their darker side something that maybe you wouldn't have noticed before like I don't know but it's gonna be okay because these these things these tests and everything that are coming for you like I said you're gonna pass with flying colors you're gonna be fine you're gonna kick ass at it and take names but it's gonna give you a new appreciation of things okay you're releasing old t attachments taking off the mask and not being afraid to vocalize what you what your needs and wants are at this time I'm going to have to go get grounded after this. I am. Some full moon energy still dipping in here. Uh, we also, the moon eclipsed Mars the other night. It was a full moon and it eclipsed Mars. And Mars is the war planet, right? If you have a birth chart, if you know, you know. But you might want to look up your Mars placements as well. And also look up the zodiac reads of your moon sign. Surrendering the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. And then we have surrendering to nature. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. So as the months come along, if there are warmer days that ensue upon you for this winter season, you might want to, you're probably going to be drawn to do it anyways, because look, this is out in nature too, right? Oh, let's see what this other card is. You're going to be surrendering to complete healing in all aspects, complete healing in your love life, complete healing around how money is, or how you view money, or how you view jobs and finances. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Spiritual healing, spiritual healing, spiritual healing. I don't want to cover any of these cards, but I guess I have to. And surrendering to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change the situation. Compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Surrendering the idea you can fix someone also is coming to mind here. So your basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. So I feel like for somebody here who's been in a thing, maybe deemed it's complicated kind of relationship, you're going to be surrendering to what is instead of forcing them to do things that you, that how you want them to do them, you're going to be able to like release and let go and be like, all right, you do it how you want to do it. I trust it'll get done. I trust, you know, even though you're not taking the steps that I would take, it's, I know it's still going to get done, right? Surrendering to self-esteem as well. Whoa. Whoa. I just flew out there. Did you see that? Alright, we've got Beggar. Confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival. Awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. And there was a self-esteem card here. And look, we've got this card. They both say self-esteem. Okay, I just have to show you. Self-esteem, self-esteem. Can't make this shit up. Dependence on others to the exclusion of effort. So you're no longer depending on others to help you. You're no longer relying. Like, okay, well, I'm scared to ask for help, but these people should know that they need to help me. Like, that's not going to be going on anymore because it's not, it's not, it's not working for us, right? Whenever we think, well, they should know. They should know I need help. No, not necessarily. Some people, they literally wait for you to ask for help because that's part of you stepping out of your comfort zone and saying, all right, I'm setting my pride aside and I'm going to, uh, feel humiliated but that's okay I'm gonna ask for help you're not gonna be afraid to hurry up and step out there rebel challenges authority to affect social change rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs the shadow is rejects legitimate authority out of anger rebels out of peer pressure or faction it sounds like a teenager here these sound like teenagers here okay so you're dealing with a teenager that's doing this kind of thing also, you might be doing some reflection. Maybe this is you as a teenager as well. Maybe this, maybe you are a teenager viewing this. No offense, I'm just the messenger. Don't fucking shoot, okay? You're going to be refining your attention. Like, there's new, like, maturing. There's huge maturing that's going on for you, even in this moment. And even how you see yourself and how you view others as well. The need to change tracks. So there's some sort of upheaval that has happened because you're needing to change tracks and admitting those vulnerabilities. We're going back to these cards right here, right? Spirit would like to say for you to stay connected. Stay connected. Be open to receiving. Don't be afraid to let things go. Surrendering to what is, right? 
and ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. It's, it's real. I, I don't make the chakras up. It wasn't something that we just made up to get. It was not a marketing scheme. It's not a marketing gimmick. Because guess what? You can heal and cleanse your chakras for free. You can do it all by yourself. You can heal yourself all for free. I, that's what I've been doing the past two years, y'all. That's and Chakras, positive affirmations, energy cleansing, holistic approaches, all of it. It's real. It works. And I, w I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I, you know, I promise. I swear by it. I swear by it. Okay, look, soulmates coming in. Surrender to complete healing of those cycles. And something that's faded for you. Something, a true love, a true partnership, a true friendship that is definitely faded for you. Taking time out to care for your needs. Taking a nap when you know you need to nap, right? Napping through this regeneration and these cycles that you're going to be going through, okay? We ask, why is this happening? Why is this? Why is God doing to this to me? We stay too much in our heads about things and we don't see the magical signs around us. We don't notice that spirit and the universe is actually all the things that fell apart in our life was making things fall into place and helping us build a solid firm foundation to launch off of by the book okay i feel like you're not going to be going by the book though you're going to find these new beliefs and ideas that are right for you and your family and your loved ones because you're blessed too stressed too blessed to be stressed right blessings are coming for you peace in 2023 look there's 23 okay you it won't be so hard to make a decision and figure out which way to go okay because either way you take it's going to lead you to happy happy happiness right pay attention to the messages and the signs the spirit's going to be sending you up until this storks could be of significance also turtles and bucks but there's this need to clean up your energetic space or clean up like your room or something cluttered space creates cluttered inward energy. I need to practice what I preach because I'm a little clutter bug. And these cycles are going to be ending for you, something that's going round and round. It's a mental cycle. You're going to start noticing these, okay? And you're, it's going to prompt you to be more here in the present, here and now, and then you're definitely going to start seeing all the magic around you and all the signs that your God, Jesus, and everything shows you. Not to mention, like I mentioned before, seeing the truth in things, right? The truth and the change that needs to happen. The truth behind the mask. Look, there's a mask right there, okay? Don't be afraid to ask others for a help. Ask spirit and the universe, God, Jesus, for help. A leg up, okay? Sending those negative thoughts to sea. Letting the water take them. Doing some cleansing baths. This is where you find serendipity. Is in those quiet moments when you're able to shower or bathe or whatever, okay? It's going to bring you home to yourself because you are home. There's a home right now, too, that's not for you. There's a situation, maybe you didn't get a house, maybe you applied for something, and it wasn't um, it wasn't for you at that time. That's why it didn't go through, okay? And this is like you coming out of this thinking, going, it's a never-ending story. Why isn't anything ever working out for me? But it's actually working highly in your favor, because all that glitters is not always gold, right? But it's working in your favor. The masks are coming off again, okay? There's another change in the wind, and we don't need to be fearful about what that change is going to bring us, okay? But it's a gift from Source, Spirit, the Universe, okay? And you're going to find peace amongst the chaos and conflict, okay? There's milk and honey in the chaos and conflict, things to be grateful for still. You got food in the fridge, food on the table, kids, clothes on your kids' backs, right? You got a loyal heart within you. A loyal partnership is coming for you, okay? Because it's time. You've waited for this. You've waited a long time for somebody to be true, honest, and faithful. While you've been mending yourself, or you're going to be mending yourself in 2023, to this new poised position that you're setting yourself up for. In between worlds, this is connecting with the 3D and connecting with the 5D. Sport, source, spirit, God, spirit, okay? This is the 3D. The 3D is basically the material world, right? A whole new community coming towards you. Look at this. We've got the whole deck here. It's just giving us a story, right? Working. Okay, we're going back down to this. Messages are starting to repeat themselves finally. So, community, community, getting to work, business, new career. Yeah, this is it, you guys. Some situations you need to go from and move away from, which you're going to be doing. And you're not.
not going to be afraid to go the distance on this one. You're going to be like, you know what? I'm tired of being in this fearful state. I'm going to just screw it. I'm going to say screw it and surrender to what is because I know that everything always works out. It always ends up having right in divine timing. It always ends up happening in the way I least expect it. And it's going to help. It's going to be great. Okay. It's going to give you new life, new energy, new ways of thinking things to co-create with the universe. Not of being afraid to come to the edge <clears throat> and finishing that unfinished symphony. Whatever it was that your ego held you back these past years before 2023, okay? They're telling me I need to breathe now, and that is it. I hope it helps. I hope it made sense. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button for me, okay? Love and light. Happy 2023, by the way.